Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So, if you watched my last video, sorry, you will see that I did a boohoo haul. <laughs> I'm keeping two things from it. Um, yeah, it wasn't great. So I'm just quickly sorting out that this one now. I ended up keeping... Oh no, I kept three things. I kept the white checkered shorts. They are such a nice short. And now I'm half tempted to get the matching cropped denim jacket. Um, See, so yeah, I kept the... Uh, checkered shorts, I kept the shoes and I kept just the plain black bikini bottoms. The bikini tops were way too small. I don't know why I got F's. I'm a G. My, 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 my cup was not. My boob was not fitting in it. And it's so funny <laughs> because when people find out the size of my cup size, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah. I know, I don't look it. So yeah, so I'm just quickly returning this on oh, the back. So that was an easy return. Uh, so basically on Boohoo, you can select a no printer version and you get sent the cord and when you go to the post office, they just scan it and print the label for you. So yeah, as I was saying, I am going to wait to get the money back and then if the... is still in stock and still on sale I might get it <clears throat> but it's not a necessity so yes I'm just heading to work now so I shall see you when I finish okay so I've finished work I am just outside my wash appointment I think I've got like 15 minutes um so do you know when you envision basically me and Max are going out for dinner tonight um, I don't know if he forgot or what, but he said to his mum that we were going to have a barbecue. So I said to him, what? We've got the meal. He was like, oh. So, basically, the way my mind works, I envision everything. Like, my outfit, uh, what I'm going to eat, how it's going to go, blah, blah, blah. And when that changes unexpectedly, nine out of ten times my brain does not handle it well so at present i'm trying to change this because not only that but the table is booked for half an hour earlier than what i thought it was booked therefore giving me 10 minutes to get from my lash appointment Two maxes to get ready. I love that for me. So I have spent the past 45 minutes trying to get through to the restaurant with absolutely zero walk. Um so as to try and not ruin our evening. I've decided, fine, I'm just going to have to get changed straight from work, which is what I'm doing now in the car. Um, got my outfit on. I'm just going to have to kind of leave my hair as it is and let's just put on a little bit of foundation and my bronzer and that be that because there's not a lot I can do. It's out of my control. Um, I've tried to change the table and the world is against me. So yeah, oh god, I'm just, I wish my brain wasn't the way that it is, but it is. So I'm going to have to tell my lash girl, she's going to have to do less, because I'm just going to have to, I, I looked on her website and she, it says she spends an hour and 20 on info, but I don't have an hour and 20. So, yeah, that is 
real fun. But yeah. Fun, fun. I will see you at my meal, maybe. I'll just vlog my food so you can see what I eat. I think I'm going to get like a creamy tomato -y pasta. And I am back. These lashes are so full. Um, I get hybrid. So my son is on because it's sunny. Um, and yeah. A hybrid lash. It's a mixture between... Um, I think... Russians and um, classics. So that's what I get. I have absolutely no idea what sort of length she puts on or anything. I just let her do her thing. I am hoping that this is the way that I think it is. Um, because I'm coming a different way. But she also finished in good time. Um, City, but it's big enough for me not to know his area. But I'm a, I have the worst memory, but when it comes to like directions, I only have to go somewhere once and then I remember where I'm going again. It's like Charlotte's new house, and I know it's near her old house. Drive back and go into her old house, and then uh, get the directions off her once I'm there. I think it's only around the corner from it, to be honest. It's kind of on the same um, new build estate, but they've upgraded. It's amazing. So I'll see if she'll let me give the vlog a tour. Oh, you, you like it fruity. It's not when it's on fire. Yeah, it's all that. Juice and stuff. Cheers. Good morning. It is 8.29 and I am just setting off to go to Newcastle. Um, I just filled up my car with petrol, picked up a beverage so usually i do go to starbucks i feel like everyone has like a road trip <laughs> sorry ritual i haven't followed it to the tea this time because i haven't put air in my tires but it hasn't been that long since i last put air in my tires and um and like i really well, I don't think I'm driving around my city to be honest. So we should be good. Um, so yes, I usually go to Starbucks. But because I was a little bit behind schedule. Because um, I don't know, well, I'm not really behind schedule. But I just thought the same we have to go to two different destinations. Because I had to get petrol. I just went to the Costa. Costa and Go. I think that's what it's called. In the petrol station. Anyways. I usually don't like those machines because they just do like boring stuff and you can only get flavoured coffee, you can't get flavoured hot chocolate. I do have my flavour drops so I was going to put them in but when I saw that I could get a golden caramel hot chocolate I was like, I'll try it. So and you know what I actually really liked as well? That when it, when before it started making you drink it told you how many calories were in it. Uh -huh. Like for me that's completely fine but for anyone who's triggered by calories, probably not ideal but um, I thought it was kind of very 2021 
so uh, yes i didn't film our dinner last night like i said i was going to because we were so hungry it looks like it arrived and we all just went <laughs> didn't even think about vlogging it so hopefully when i'll vlog more while i'm with charlotte um oh i can't even brush my eyes i actually like, got up had a shower and left so yes it's usually about two to two and a half hours depending if i get stuck behind a lorry on the a roads um we shall see but i'm so excited i haven't seen her in so long like i'm me and charlotte are very, like we're very good long distance friends to be honest we do well we used to see each other like three to four times a year and then obviously and that's even as adults both working full time um, and then with the corona obviously we haven't seen each other um, yeah. <sighs> the tour actually so we're in october november last year when we kind of had that break a little bit sooner than July but this time but yes yeah, so I'm gonna get on my tunes do some karaoke by myself in my car <laughs> and I'll see you when I get there oh but maybe I'll try I'll try and film a taste test with my chocolate but the motorway might be a little bit too loud Charlotte is introducing me to Wagamama's gonna be in the block Hmm? Gotta be in the vlog. No, have you seen the state of this? <laughs> Absolutely not. Is it nice? Mm. Really good. She's ready. You ready, Luna? 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 There she is. <laughs> Is it just that bit that moves? So, it is the day after. Um, I'm back from Newcastle, obviously, and I've just left the gym, hit a PB. Which is good. I am now up on a weight. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but I've gone from 5kg to 6kg. Just saying. <laughs> um, but yes, I. Uh, that's not my body, FYI. I've uh, slowly started integrating that back in. Um, against, uh, you know, professional suggestions. But I just. My arms are one of my biggest insecurity and not being able to train them since the car crash is just like not ideal. So yeah. Um I have been I have been very careful. But yeah. I hit a PB. Um so quite a while ago I put my protein shake in my car and it's really making my car smell, especially because we've had this hot weather. But it's really weird, it only happened literally like a couple of days ago where I smelt it and it ain't getting any better. So I'm hope I've got, I have like 35 minutes until I start work. So I'm hoping I can fly into Maurice to get some five or one bars because my digestive system has not been on point for the past couple of weeks. I do know why. It's because my lacking fibre. Because of the, because I've not been eating as much fibre as I used to usually do. So usually I have my porridge in the morning and have my two fibre one bars at lunch. But since being on Caroline's plan, I've replaced the fibre bars with the Squares bars. And then because I was breaking out, I didn't have porridge for like the past couple of weeks. And yeah. ASAP Rocky, so I'm gonna fly to Morrison's because that's open now, it opens at 7am. Whereas I don't think I usually get them from BMs because it's cheaper to get them from there, but I think that only opens at 8. So I don't have to for that. So I'm gonna fly into Morrison's and then I'm hopefully gonna fly and get my car seat 
others in the washing machine <laughs> or just the one that I spilled it on I'm pretty sure that is what the smell is um, it ain't ideal and I'm playing taxi on Saturday um, and I don't think it's fair for other people to have to deal with that smell you know so I'm gonna fix that uh, once again I don't know what I vlogged this might only be 10 minutes but I'm gonna try and put this together um, there's nothing like else of interest really um, it's just gonna be work um, until my birthday because it's my birthday uh, sure. Yeah, do you know what? Actually, I won't end it yet because then I can hold myself accountable to do everything I want to do this evening. So I decided I'm just going to go to Morrison's after work. So I'm not babysitting, so I actually have time to do things after work today. But oh my god. So obviously, since my car crashed, like, I'm really nervous about cars pulling off. And um, I was just, you know going through the traffic lights and um, basically like the opposite side go first and then we can go anyway this car literally clearly gone through the red light on their side because the, the green arrow obviously goes off to them and then we go it literally skimmed the front of my car probably just by like half a meter my heart is literally racing two stupid boys in a begin I think it's a Fiat Punto. There's absolutely no need. Like he well and truly went through a red light because I took off like with plenty of tap light. <sighs> Why are people so stupid? Why are you so stupid? And this is what I always say to anyone when they're learning to drive it's not you it's the other cars you need to watch out for the other cars so much because if i was not paying attention he legit would have just drove into me literally and the way he flew through it would have been bad oh, i hate it i can't wait to get a bigger car i hate that my car is small because i just don't feel safe in it whatsoever anyways i'm gonna quickly put some laundry on at my mum's hopefully i don't wake them up Where is the sun gone? It's my birthday tomorrow. And this is the weather. There goes the cripple. <laughs> After his appointment. I cannot even cope. It's like 100 degrees again. So I've just run a couple of errands. Um, but I picked this up from Boots. I actually got this for free because of my Boots points. Um, my hair, the toner is obviously washed out. I'm due to get it done Thursday, which is crazy because um, I went so long without getting it done. Oh.
this plan. But I feel like I need to wash the stuff out of this and then and then it was a uh, nice to dice and then but this I don't know if I want to do that today or not, but you shall see. It's a lot later than where I wanted to be home already as it is so yeah. I'm back home in my room. Have I got my ten thousand steps to do today? I have I think I wanted to put twenty thousand in there but it ended up the day is just not gonna bother to plan. What can we do? I'll see you when I wash my hair. Okay, so it's my birthday eve and I have got stuff that I need to sort out this evening. So I thought I would do that with you. Um first things first. What an absolute sad disaster. If you have not watched my old videos, my natural nails used to be so long i got them so good in lockdown and then um i well, you know what i'm like i just get stressed so i just just showed them and obviously i did my final exam not that long ago which again didn't help so beauty basics to rescue. These are gonna be birthday nails. How cool are they? So the cold chocolate swirl. She's actually rebranding. So yes, I'm not too sure what we're doing with that. So these are obviously just stick-ons. Um so I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna prep them all correctly. So I'm just gonna lightly buff and then apply this prep and clean dehydrant so the glue really sticks and then I use the piss brush on nail glue um, simply because I do not have a lot of nail bed like look at that weird thing that I have my auntie has checked it um, 
it's definitely, well it's not definitely not, but we're pretty sure that it's not male cancer, which I know sounds really dramatic. But yeah, uh, we think that when I've trapped my finger, that's where that's come from and it just continues to grow with the nail. It doesn't change, it's always the same. So she was like, it should be fine. At least I'm sure. I might send her a picture of it and be like, what are we saying? But yeah, there's not a lot of like, a nail bed going on here. So, I'm so excited for these. You can't really see the colour. Let me flip the camera. That's better. That's even better in the natural daylight. So yeah, those are going to be my birthday nails. Can not wait. what an eventful evening like honestly considering it's wednesday this week has been absolutely ri ridiculous absolutely ridiculous um i couldn't even without showing too much of my personal life financially i've been hit hard <laughs> within the past three days um yeah one of them has been resolved the second hasn't been resolved and i'm basically my phone bill um through the roof basically i should have been getting discount they've not received my discount form that i filled out the beginning of june when i took out the contract and uh, basically they said because i've not received it there's no evidence of it there's nothing they can do so <laughs> I'm, i've cancelled they've let me cancel the contract so i've got to give my phone back uh, on Friday and I've just spent the past half an hour trying to find a new phone, trying to find a new deal, trying to find a new network provider because there is no way in hell a Vodafone is getting any more of my money. They've literally ruined my and my dad's lives for years and we've stuck with them because we've been with them for years and they're always like, oh, we'll do this, we'll do that, and rah, rah, rah. And I finally switched over to them in my own name after trying for years <clears throat> maybe like a year ago and my dad was still getting texts for how much my bill was even though we're completely separate there's nothing to do with him and all that so yeah i found a new deal i'm getting the same phone but i'm gonna get it in silver just because you know don't want no bad bad vibes <laughs> Um, and I've chosen to go with auto, so hopefully I can pick that up on Friday. I said to Vodafone, I was like, listen, tomorrow's my birthday, I'm not, not having a phone on my birthday, I need to be able to, like, receive part of birthday taxes. So, I'm taking it back Friday, and hopefully I can pick up my new phone from auto. I'm getting a whole new number and everything, I just want to cut it off with order no connection i'm done with them uh, and i've just been shown my new number which is going to be my new number and it's an easy number to memorize so i'm excited fingers crossed i'm gonna wake up in the morning and that's all been accepted and i can pick it up it did say that orders placed before midnight you can pick up the following day i would love to be able to pick it up tomorrow but if it's friday it's friday that's fine but yeah I'm going to quickly jump in the bath, exfoliate and wash my wash my hair extensions. I want to wash and blow dry them um, and put on that product that the company sent me. Because um, I'm thinking of getting them cut a little bit shorter tomorrow. I'm just umming and ahhing. I don't know if to not get a bob. I just, I don't know. I don't know. My head's everywhere. But I do want to start a new vlog for my birthday. And I also need to edit everything the two videos, I think there's two videos left on this one, this one and the one before, so yeah, need to get those sorted, they should swap over when I get my new phone, but better to be safe than sorry, also what you missed was, obviously my dad has got a ruptured Achilles, I think it's, I think that's what he's got, Um, so he's in a cast, he smashed his favourite breakfast cereal bowl before, and then I was went in the fridge to get some milk to make him a coffee and the fridge door fell off 
so do you want you just like does the world not want me to turn 29 because listen listen linda <laughs> i'm gonna tap that third eye and i'm gonna manifest my 29th year is gonna be So yeah, next time you see me, it's gonna be my birthday. The fudge. Um I just I'm gonna be in a better mood. I'm gonna be in a better mood. It's my birthday. Nothing is gonna go wrong on my birthday. It might rain. Bless you. Nothing else is gonna go Oh god, I forgot I've not even ironed my shirt that I wanna wear tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be a late night. I'm still gonna be awake on my birthday. Max said he wanted me to be in bed for eleven. It's 20 to 11. There's no chance. There's no chance I'm being in bed for before 11. <sighs> yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in a couple of days with another one. Bye.